As a pediatrician and a mom, I know how difficult it can be to get your child to take the right medicine in the right amount at the right time. During this anthrax emergency, antibiotics like doxycycline can keep you from getting sick with anthrax if you start taking them as soon as possible. If your child has been given doxycycline tablets to take during this emergency, you should have also received written doxycycline tablet crushing instructions that show you how to soak the tablet in some water to make it easier to crush, how to measure the right amount of medicine according to how much your child weighs, and how to mix the medicine with food or a drink to make it easier for your child to take. Use these doxycycline crushing instructions only with the tablets that the health officials gave you. Look at the label. It should say doxycycline 100 mg, and below that it will say doxycycline hyclate. If you don't have written doxycycline crushing instructions, you can find them online at the website for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention at www.cdc.gov or ask a pharmacist or local health official. Before you get started, you will need to know your child's weight. Be sure to write it down because you will need it to measure the right amount of doxycycline for your child. Using weight is better, but if you don't know your child's weight, you can use your child's age instead. However, weight is preferred. Then each time you prepare the medicine, you will need one doxycycline tablet, two small bowls, a small amount of drinking water, and a metal teaspoon for measuring and crushing. Your tablet might look different from this one because they come in different colors and shapes. Be certain you have the right size spoon. If you have a teaspoon from a measuring spoon set, that's perfect. A teaspoon measures the same amount as 5 cc's or 5 ml's. If you don't have a measuring spoon, consider getting one in the near future. In the meanwhile, you can use a spoon that's about the same size as a teaspoon. Or use a 5 cc oral syringe or a medicine spoon if you have one. You will also need one of these foods or drinks to mix with the doxycycline to make the medicine taste better. Milk or chocolate milk, chocolate or sugar-free chocolate pudding, or apple juice with added sugar. Now to prepare a dose for your child, put one doxycycline tablet in a small bowl and add four full teaspoons of water to soak the tablet. Let the tablet soak in the water for at least 10 minutes so it will get soft. The longer it soaks, the easier it will be to crush. Then use the back of a metal spoon to crush the tablet in the water. You might have to press hard to break up the tablet, and you need to crush it until there are no big visible pieces of the tablet in the water. Stir the crushed pieces in the water well. The solution may look a little grainy. Now that you have made the doxycycline and water mixture, you'll need to measure the right amount of medicine using your child's weight. Weight is better, but if you don't know their weight, you can use your child's age. Use the dosing chart that appears in the written doxycycline crushing instructions you received, or you can find the instructions on the CDC website mentioned earlier. The dosing chart shows the right amount of the doxycycline and water mixture to give for one dose. Find your child's weight on the left side of the chart. Weight is better, but if you don't know your child's weight, find their age on the chart. Then follow that row across to find out how much of the doxycycline and water mixture that you will need to measure for your child's dose. Depending on your child's weight, the amount of doxycycline and water mixture is different. For example, a child who weighs 20 pounds would get one full teaspoon of the doxycycline and water mixture. If you have a baby who weighs 12 pounds or less, you will need to measure out a half teaspoon of the doxycycline and water mixture. For children who weigh 76 pounds or more and adults, the amount of doxycycline and water mixture in the first bowl, four teaspoons, makes one dose that should be mixed with food or drink. 
Stir the doxycycline and water mixture again right before measuring the right amount for your child's dose using your teaspoon, medicine spoon, or oral syringe. Put the measured amount of doxycycline and water mixture into the second bowl to mix with food or a drink. This makes one dose. When measuring for babies who need a half teaspoon of the doxycycline and water mixture, fill the teaspoon halfway. It is better to give a little more of the medicine than not enough. Now that you have one dose in the second bowl, you're ready to mix with food or drink to make it taste better. Choose the one food or drink item that you think your child is most likely to eat or drink. Add three teaspoons of the food or drink to the second bowl containing the one measured dose of doxycycline. However, if you use apple juice, you will also want to add about four teaspoons of sugar to make it taste better. Mix the doxycycline dose into the food or drink before serving it to your child. Be sure your child eats or drinks all the food mixture so they are sure to get the full dose of doxycycline that's mixed into it. If your child weighs 51 pounds or more, or is six years or older, throw away the doxycycline and water mixture left in the first bowl. You don't have enough left for another dose. If your child weighs 50 pounds or less, or is five years or younger, you have enough of the doxycycline and water mixture left in the first bowl for another full dose. You can keep it for up to 24 hours to use for the next dose. Be sure to cover the crushed doxycycline and water mixture. Label it with your child's name, the date, and the time. And store it at room temperature out of the reach of children and pets. Throw out the doxycycline and water mixture after 24 hours, or if your child weighs 51 pounds or more. Then make a new doxycycline and water mixture right before the next dose. Be sure to follow all the instructions from health officials, and for additional information, see the CDC website. Remember, each child should take this medicine twice a day, one dose in the morning and one dose at night for as long as directed, because taking doxycycline is the best way to keep you and your family from getting sick with anthrax during this public health emergency.